Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today I want to share with you guys my current favorites. I really like doing these videos because your favorites you can tell out of everything in your collection, what you've been loving, what you've been using, and all sorts of things. So I am going to share that with you guys today. But before we get into it, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. It would mean the absolute world to me. I am trying to grow my channel, so stick around and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to see what my current favorites are, then just keep on watching. Once in a while, I like to use this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Coconut Water Primer Stick. Now, I love this because it's cooling, it's moisturizing. I'll moisturize my face and then kind of rub this all over. It gives me a nice cooling effect and then I just rub it in. But I have been using this and I have used a lot, if you can tell. Next favorite is actually a rediscovery of my Tarte Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. I love setting my concealer with this. This powder is so good. It's not messy and that's what I love about it the most is that it's not loose powder so it's not flying everywhere. You put what you need on your brush and then tap it and then blend it and it's good to go and I really really love this. I don't know why I stopped using this product. It's my favorite. So the next favorite of mine, I have been using this non-stop. I haven't been able to put it down. Is the Tarte bronzer and this is in hotel harris i love this bronzer so much it is what i'm wearing today this bronzer is so beautiful it's not too orange and it's not too cool tone it is just perfect for for me and my skin tone i love it so much um, and it sits beautiful on the skin the next product i want to talk about is from essence and is their satin touch blush this is in the shade satin love I really love this blush. The camera's washing it out, but I do have this on my cheeks today. This is such a perfect blush for me and my skin tone. The next blush I've been using for about two months now is this. is from Pacifica and is their coconut blush. One of them is called Beaming and this, this one right here is called Beaming and this one right here is called Tender Heart. Tender Heart is the one I've been using the most. Again, it's like a mauve shade, just kind of like this one, but a different under, like a different undertone. But these two blushes have been my favorite blushes. So my next favorite is by Pure Cosmetics, and it is their Soiree Diaries eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette I love so much. The pigment on these shadows are very soft. They're blendable. And they're pigmented and you can create so many different looks and they blend out so good on the lids you don't even have to think about it you just pop on some shades shades and you can create such a good look using this eyeshadow palette and the mirror in here is so so good as well another palette I have been loving is the Colourpop and Kathleen lights collaboration dream street palette these shades are so beautiful they're so pigmented they're so creamy and again these shadows they blend out perfectly on your eyes you can get so many different looks with this it's just insane these palettes um from ColourPop, my first pressed eyeshadow from ColourPop, and these shadows are just really really good i am excited to try more ColourPop eyeshadows in the pan form the other palette I have been loving is the Huda Beauty palette. You can't create too many different looks. I mean, you can, maybe three or four different looks. But even then, this is such a travel-friendly palette. This right here is perfect for me because I don't always do my makeup. But this fits in my makeup bag so I can take it with me on the go and then do my makeup um, in the car or before work or something I really love Huda Beauty's um, formula. The only thing is this one, I have to say, you need to use a glitter glue with it because it is a chunky shadow. But other than that, this eyeshadow palette is everything plus some for me. I love it so much. Like, it's so beautiful to look at. It's so beautiful to use. And they're so pigmented. It's crazy. And it got a mirror. So that's definitely a plus for me. My other favorite and is from ColourPop and it's the ColourPop 
brow pencil. I have been using this nonstop. I cannot get enough of it. I have it on my brows today. The next product that I've been loving, I have on my eyes today, and it's the Tarte Tartiest Mascara. Now, I have been loving this for such a long time. I know we just got one in a BoxyCharm, but that one's in backup for me because I already had this in my collection, but I love this mascara so much. It's what I have on my lashes right now. And this gives me so much length and volume. It does everything that I need it to do. The next thing I want to talk about are lip products. And the one that I'm wearing today, I love it so much. It's so... I just love it. It's like my perfect nude shade. It's like my lips, but better. This is by Soap and Glory. It's the Sexy Mother Pucker. And this is in the shade Naked Talent. This is definitely not new. I have used this so much, but I have rediscovered it because I was on a, this is the shade right there. I was on a liquid lipstick kick, and for some reason lately, I have not been wanting to wear liquid lipsticks. I have been staying away from them, especially with this drier weather that we're experiencing. Lipsticks, lip glosses are what I have been reaching for. The other lipstick I have been really loving is from Milani, and this is in Nude Cream 26. It's this shade right here. It's a little bit lighter and deeper in tone, but I love this one as well. And especially on top of a lip gloss, this is so beautiful. I love this. And the next product that I've been loving, that I've been reaching for, is from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. It is their lipstick in the Ultra Satin Lip in dreamy but i don't wear this shade by itself i normally wear this shade with the next favorite product on top of it and it lightens it up a lot but i really do love it um and the formula of the ultra satin is my favorite the next lip product i have been using on top of that satin lipstick is the gloss that kathleen lights came out with and this is in moon child now this lip gloss is Oh my God, it's so, so beautiful. I love this gloss. Um, I can wear it by itself. I can wear it on top. I like to wear it on top of this one. I can wear it on top of anything. This is just a, a nice everyday gloss, super glossy, not sticky. It's just perfect. And it doesn't give you the stringy lips. So the last makeup product that I have been loving, and this won't come to no surprise to anyone, but when you have more than 10 setting sprays and you only reach for this one and you only want that one, that definitely does say something. I feel like I can get rid of all of them and this is the only one that I want. And it would be the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I love the setting spray. I love the mister on it. I love the smell of it. I love the wear time that I get with it. This setting spray is so good. Milani does such a great job with this setting spray. So my next two favorite products that I've been using, they're makeup related, but they're tools for makeup. So one of them is this Real Techniques blush brush. Now for blush brush, I used to use just like an angle brush or some something like this of some sort that's a little bit more denser and it packs on blush really, really good. But this one is just so fluffy and so nice. And I noticed that my blush goes on a lot better with this. I just swirl it into here and just kind of like do like a sweeping motion going back. And it leaves just the perfect amount of blush on my cheeks. And it just blends out effortlessly using this brush. I know with the other one I have to like really go and buff and blend. But with this brush all I do is like a little sweep motion like that. And the blush applies where it needs to apply and it just blends on its own it's just crazy i love this brush i never ever used to use this brush as much as i use it now and i always like clean it out and then i use it again and then i clean it out i have so many brushes here but this is the only one that i have been reaching for and wanting to use for my blush the next tool that i have been really learning to use and loving it when i use it it's my eyelash curler. Now, I've had this for a while. It's not. It's from Tweezerman. It's the rose gold one. I got it from Sephora. 
I out of habit never used to use it just because I feel like it was such an inconvenience to have to go and do an extra step. So now that I have been really taking the time to make that extra step, I love the results that I get. Um, before, I, I think I used to use it wrong. I used to clamp it and then like lift it up. And so it used to make my lashes like poke back into my, my lids. But now I just put it on there, a couple pumps, let it go, and then it just does a natural little curl. Now, I did use it today, and I really love the curl that I get. So the next product I have been absolutely loving is by Garnier, and it's their micellar cleansing water. I get this size because I can travel with it. I am into miniature size things, honestly, guys. Like this right here, miniature size, is just my best friend. Anything bigger size, I'm like, where do I store it? Where do I put it? I love things in miniature size. Just put them on a cotton pad and kind of just rub it a little bit, massage it, and then wipe away and the makeup comes off. This does remove waterproof makeup. Going into the non-makeup products, I do want to talk to you guys about some hair stuff. I only have two hair items. One of them is by Briogeo and is the Rosarco Blow Dry um, Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. This has been life. I am already like right here. I try to use a little bit. This came in a boxy charm and I am loving this product so much. I noticed a huge difference when I use this and I blow dry my hair. This cuts down my hair blow drying routine so much to the point where I can physically blow dry my hair and it's completely straight and then just kind of pass the flat iron here and there wherever I get some frizzies. But this has been so good. I even use this when I don't blow dry my hair. I'll put this in my hair, I'll braid my hair, do tw little twists on my hair and my hair is just so soft and it's so smooth and it's just awesome. I love this product so much. The next hair product that I have been loving is by Hask and it's their coconut dry shampoo. Now this one is amazing. I love this so much. I don't hear too many people talking about this product. You get like, you get this whole big tube for like six bucks, maybe five bucks depending on where you go. And it smells like coconut. My hair smells so good. But what I like about this, it doesn't leave my hair with a white cast and it doesn't dry it out where it feels so gritty. Like when I use dry shampoo, a lot of times my hair at the scalp feels so gritty. When I use dry shampoos, I want a couple things. One, I want to take away the oil. Second, I don't want it to be a white cast or make me look like I have dandruff on my hair. And the other thing is I want it to feel smooth. I don't want it to dry out my hair so much where I create dandruff. I want it to still look silky, but like I washed it and, and fresh, like a freshly washed hair where it's still nice, silky, and smooth. And this gives me all of that. My last favorite that I'm going to leave you guys with is nail polish. And I have been doing my own acrylic nails for a while now, maybe like a year. Um, so I've been doing my own acrylic nails on and off for like a year. And these are almost all mine, if not mine already. Um, and this nail polish from KL Polish, I have been obsessing over. Now, there's only a few shades here that I use on rotation. Like this, for this one is Lumiere. Um, the ones I had last time was Aquarius. Now, when I wear Aquarius, I get so many compliments. Everyone's like, oh, I love your nails. Oh, I love your nails. Wherever I go, if it's drive through grocery stores, Walmart, anywhere that I go, everyone thinks that I get my nails done professionally, and they always ask me what's on my nails, and I always tell them I do it myself, and I just use a regular nail polish. But these last so long, they don't chip, and they look so shiny as if it was gel. I love this formula of nail polish. This is the first time I ever um, used a KL polish. I really, really love her formula. They dry fast. They're like self-leveling, where when you put it on, and the applicator, let me just show you. Why I don't show you? So this one is Aquarius. This one is my favorite. I have beat this up so much but the wand on this is so is so big 
it covers the whole entire nail at first it took me a while to actually you know get used to the handle because it's so big and like for my pinky i only had to do two swipes and it covers the entire nail i always use two coats of this a base and a top coat i always use that but my nails they look so shiny even I think I've had these on for like a week or so, maybe longer. I have to do a refill already on them, but they last so long. And Aquarius, um, Lumiere, and Alyssa are my three favorites out of this whole collection, but all of them are beautiful. This is like a perfect everyday go to work, um, just matches with everything natural you know nails and i love them so much but that is it guys that is all my favorites i feel like i've been talking so much but if you like these type of videos please give them a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below because i would greatly appreciate it if you stuck around and until next time bye guys